What's up RC for us squad Mike here with you so I had a little bit of opportunity to come out and run it's actually a pretty nice day out it's beautiful sunny out it's like almost 60 degrees but as you can hear the wind is terrible so I don't know how this video is going to turn out I'll try to cut some music over top of the majority of the bash and so you don't have to tolerate it but I got the fire team built and this is going to be its first little shakedown run after the build basher queen towers top plate tower to tower brace rear bulkhead m2c chassis chassis braces rear tower support zr1 shocks it should be a beast i got some back flips on it this time and an rc lipo 6s in it so in a power hobby hd servo and a max 8 hobby wing with a 2200 kv 4274 hobby wing motor so it ought to be a fun little ripper so let's just get right into it guys okay guys so here we are like i said it's windy so i'm gonna try to cut a lot of the sound out something doesn't seem right with the steering i don't know if it has anything to do with the shims that i put in it or what but Serious nose plant. Let's clean the nose up. M2C tough. is not right with the steering for sure it like wants to dart to the left i'll tell you what it's taken a beating from me today That was a recovery and a half. Battery must have came unplugged. All right, let me open it up and take a look at it, guys. So yeah, just like I thought, she came unplugged. My plug's almost too short for this thing. 
this battery in it, so. Something's definitely up with the steering. It's got to be the shims I'm using. One more time. Things awesome, guys. Give her another send guys. I'm not gonna keep this a real long video. I just wanted to get it out and see if everything was good. Looks like other than the steering issue, which I think is just what I'm using for shims, is about it guys. I think she's a little hot. Let's take a look underneath the hood. Okay guys, there we go. That was the first little shakedown run on it. I think she did pretty good. There's definitely something up with the steering and I think that it's the shims that I'm using in the front or maybe it's just the alignment. Maybe I just need to go back to the drawing board on the steering. But other than that, you guys seen it. She took a heck of a little beating this rear bulkhead 
is going to be epic on it. Everything looks like she held together just fine. No bends, no breaks, no nothing. That's better than the last run, guys. So as always, I'm Mike with RC4US, and I'm out of here.